What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about draft prospect Drake London. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for continuing to tune into the channel. Uh, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. If you would like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you would like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you also can join my membership by clicking the join button uh, here on my channel. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So like I mentioned in today's video, I do want to talk about draft prospect Drake London. Uh, Drake London is the wide receiver out of the University of USC. Uh, he goes about 6'5", 210 pounds, and he's one of my favorite wide receiver prospects in this draft. Uh, if the Falcons decide uh, to take a wide receiver in the first round, I definitely think that Drake London um, should be a guy that the Atlanta Falcons consider. Uh, because of his physicality, um, I do believe that he would fit Arthur Smith's run heavy scheme um, because he's a guy that isn't afraid of contact. He isn't afraid to do those routes where you got to run across the middle of the field because he has that big uh, six five frame. He's built a lot like a tight end. Um, he's one of my favorite prospects as well because of uh, his ability to catch the ball in traffic. And if you watched the Atlanta Falcons last season under Arthur Smith in his first year as our offensive coordinator and head coach, he likes to run a lot of intermediate routes and he likes to run a lot of patterns where your receiver has to be uh, strong at the point of attack, meaning they have to have strong hands. They have to be able to catch contested uh, passes. And Drake London, to me, that's his forte. I really think that Drake London probably has the strongest hands um, out of him and Traylon Burks, out of the wide receivers that I've seen, um, to me, out of all the guys that I've seen, the wide receivers in this draft class, I think Drake London has the strongest hands, and I think he does the best at high point in the football. Um, with that big 6'5 uh, frame, if you go look at his highlight tape or if you go look at Drake London on film, he's a guy that catches the ball at his highest point. He uh, has very strong hands, and he isn't um, afraid of contact. Uh, he plays the game like a tight end or he plays the game like a power forward or a small forward in the NBA where he's going up to get a rebound. He's really good in the red zone. Um, he's really good run after catch because of his physicality. Uh, most corners are not going to be able to take him down. Um, it's going to take multiple people to get him down because of his size and athleticism. But I really think that he would be an upgrade for our Atlanta Falcons because last season, uh, we had a lot of smaller wide receivers like the Alameda Zacchaeus, uh, like the uh, Russell Gages of the world. Um, even Calvin Ridley uh, isn't the biggest guy. So I definitely think that um, if we were able to bring in a Drake London in this draft, now you have uh, your Corey Davis and you have um, the, the kid Brown that plays for the Titans. You have those two guys that. Uh, Arthur Smith coached in Tennessee where he had those two big wide receivers um, in Corey Davis and uh, in Brown that plays for the Tennessee Titans. So I definitely think uh, Kyle Pitts and Drake London could be that, you know, be that tandem kind of how uh, Arthur Smith had in Tennessee when he had those two big physical wide receivers. I definitely think uh, if we were to bring in a guy like Drake London, he definitely could be. Um, a number one receiver or a number two wide receiver um, on our team. He's a guy not only that can play on the outside, but he also can play in the slot. And I really think uh, the biggest upgrade that he would be for our Falcons is in the red zone because we really still struggled last year um, to pass the ball in the red zone. We did a lot better in our red zone efficiency last year compared to the years that we had uh, Dirk Cutter as our offensive coordinator. But I think that our Atlanta Falcons still can get a lot better uh, once we get down in the red zone. A couple games last season, we struggled when we got into the red zone of being able to punch it into the end zone because our wide receivers were smaller. Um, they weren't able to go up and catch, you know, those contested catches that I talk about. That's something that 
um, Drake London would bring to the table. Him and Kyle Pitts as a tandem, you could spread those guys, put one of them on one side, one of them on the other side. Also, those rub routes, when you have those bigger wide receivers, they're able to shield off those smaller corners, shield off those smaller linebackers. And Drake London is one of the best um, wide receivers in this draft because of his physicality, uh, because of his aggressiveness. And another thing that I think that Drake London would do well uh, in this Atlanta Falcons offense is being able to block. Because we are a run-heavy scheme under Arthur Smith in this West Coast offense, and it's a lot of intermediate routes and a lot of uh, running, you have to be able to pass block. And that's something that Drake London, I think, will be really good at as well because of his size uh, on those short screen passes and things of that nature, those routes where he has to go across the middle. Um, I really think that he'll be able to box out those smaller guys and be able to make those contested tough catches. And we know that Matt Ryan likes to throw the ball uh, in between the numbers across the middle of the field. And I feel like last year he really didn't have that security blanket other than Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst. Uh, we really didn't have um, a consistent wide receiver that was big enough to go in there and take that punishment. And I think that Drake London would be that that perfect fit for this offense. Uh, but with, with that being said, you guys let me know what you think about Drake London. Uh, do you think that he would be um, a good fit for our Atlanta Falcons? I definitely think that he would be a good fit um, with our Atlanta Falcons because of that size and physicality and his aggressiveness and his strong hands at the point of attack. I really think that that's something that our Falcons was lacking last season. Uh, but with that being said, this be your boy, Ju. I'm going to have a lot more co uh, content coming for you guys. So please continue to share out my content. Hit that subscribe button. Your boy's on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Um, but with that being said, this be your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.